There are some standard tools you'll need for preparing and installing Xenolite Plus. For a detailed list, please refer to the Xenolite Plus installation guide. Do not use flexible PVC edge trimming or gaskets at any time, as they contain chemical agents that could damage the sheet. Please ensure you follow all relevant building processes and codes that are applicable in your area. If you're using Xenolite Plus in a renovation, you must clean the renovation surface thoroughly. Make sure it's smooth and does not have any flaws, ridges or dips. The Xenolite Plus sheet is 6mm thick and will add to the thickness of your wall. This needs to be accounted for when fitting taps, fixtures and shower fittings etc. Do not use Xenolite Plus behind any direct heat source. And remember that Xenolite Plus will expand and contract with temperature variations, which is why you must allow for 4mm expansion gaps at each edge of the panel where it joins another surface. Xenolite Plus must not be moved or stored in hot conditions or direct sunlight. Store all sheets horizontally, away from any direct light. All joints must be sealed with silicon or a waterproofing compound to avoid moisture seeping through. Mark out where the Xenolite Plus panels will join together in the shower. Then paint the wall surface behind that joint with a colour similar to that of the Xenolite Plus panel you intend to install. This will ensure that when the neutral cure silicon is applied in the 4mm panel expansion gap, that the colour that shows through the clear silicon is a very close match to that of the newly installed panel. Ensure the walls are smooth, clean and dry, and that all substrate wall panel fixings are set flush or recessed. Once all the preparation for the installation of the panel has been completed, measure each wall area and decide on suitable panel size. Remember to allow for 4mm joints or expansion gaps at each corner between Xenolite Plus panels and also at any other wall edge. The Xenolite Plus sheet is applied with a protective film on both sides of the sheet. Do not remove the film on either side of the panel at this stage. It's important to understand which is the front of the panel and which is the rear. The clear side is the front of the panel. It has a protective film on it to ensure the high gloss surface remains undamaged until the final installation is completed. The colour side of the sheet is in fact the rear of the panel and is the side that is adhered to the wall. It also has a protective film to avoid damage in transit. Mark all holes and cut lines on the film using a felt tip pen. Do not use metal scribes. Clamping the sheet will protect the panel and avoid vibration. Always use a block or board between the clamp and the sheet surface to avoid scratching, compressing or marking the surfaces. Jigsaws are the most appropriate tool to cut short distances such as PowerPoint openings. Cut with the rear colour side of the Xenolite sheet facing downwards. Only use blades that are suitable for cutting plastics or aluminium. If you're using a portable circular saw, Cut with the rear colour side of the Xenolite Plus sheet facing upwards. If you're using a fixed table saw, you should cut the sheet with the rear colour side facing downwards. Drilled holes should be no closer than 10mm to the edge of the panel sheet. At this time, you should drill out any square corners of a previously made cutout. You need rounded corners within the cutout section. Slightly blunt drill bits will work better as they cut through the material more slowly. Always drill from the clear or front side of the Xenolite Plus sheet to reduce the risk of chipping. Best results will be achieved with a slow to medium drill speed. To make smaller holes into larger ones, use a step drill bit at a slow to medium speed. It's best to use a fine toothed hole saw for larger holes. When using a hole saw, you must cut from the front face or clear side of the Xenolite Plus panel to halfway through the sheet, then turn the sheet over and then finish the hole from the colour side. Once the Xenolite Plus panel has been cut and drilled to your requirements, the edges must be sanded or planed to a smooth finish. A single pass with an electric planer will provide a smooth edge and neat appearance. You can also use a sandpaper that is 100 grit or medium grade to remove most of the rough edge material. Then use a fine 240 grit sandpaper to follow. You can now remove the protective film from the rear surface on the colour side in order to begin applying the adhesive. 
However, do not remove the protective film on the front clear side of the panel at this time. Now scuff the rear coloured surface with a coarse scouring pad or 240 grit sandpaper. Do this in a circular motion so that you cover the rear of the sheet, not leaving any areas that are unscuffed. Scuffing the rear of the sheet increases the adhesion effect when the sheet is applied to the wall. After scuffing is complete, ensure that the panel is clean and free of dust or any other substance before applying the tape and silicon. Apply strips of double-sided tape to the length of the rear surface of each panel at approximately 300mm spacing. Apply a 6mm bead of translucent neutral cure silicon in a wavy pattern between each tape strip, near the edges of the panel. Increase the wavy pattern as shown. Run a bead of silicon on the rear of the panel around any holes, fitting holes or cutouts. To install the panel, remove the tape liner and carefully lift the panel off the bench. Place the base of your panel on 4mm spaces at the base of the shower unit. This will enable the Xenolite Plus sheet to correctly rest on the spaces while installation takes place and it will provide the perfect gap for your expansion joint. Once correctly in place, push the sheet into position and firmly rub down the panel to ensure the adhesive tape bonds and adhesive silicon contacts the wall. Allow the panels to cure to the wall for 24 hours before attempting to silicon the joints or removing the protective front film. After the 24 hours, seal the joints with neutral cure silicon. Once the gap is filled, remove excess silicon using a soft, flexible plastic spatula. Immediately after the silicon is applied, carefully remove the outer protective film in one continuous movement in order to achieve the best finish. After installing your new Xenolite Plus, it's important to clean all the panels. This can best be achieved by using a soft microfiber cloth or chamois with non-abrasive detergent in warm water. Grease or oil can be removed with suitable plastic cleaners. Do not rub the Xenolite Plus surface when it's dry or use brushes or scouring pads on the product as this may damage the high gloss surface. The installation of your Xenolite Plus panels in your bathroom is complete. Thank you for choosing Xenolite Plus. If you have any questions, please contact your nearest Xenolite Plus distributor or visit www.xenolite.com for more information.